Houston Rockets rocked the Orlando Magic 113-101 and won the NBA championship in a sweep. First of all, I would like to thank God for the opportunity, for giving us this opportunity to win the championship again. Now the question is, will this team get the respect they deserve? If people don't give us respect after that, we don't want it. Hakeem Olajuwon is a certified NBA legend. Winning two championships in a row is no small feat, but despite his individual greatness, some people claim that the Rockets only took home those titles because Michael Jordan was on his baseball hiatus. But according to Hakeem, that's not how championships work. He said, and I quote, you don't win a championship by accident. And to be frank, he's absolutely right. Winning a title requires excellence, consistency and grit. The Rockets had an unbelievable campaign in 93-94, finishing 58-24 and and proving they were a force to be reckoned with. Sure, Jordan wasn't in the picture, but that doesn't take away from Houston's dominance. They earned every bit of that success on and off the court. Now, Hakeem's claim is partially true. While the Rockets were dominant in the 93-94 season, they actually didn't have the best record in the league. That honor went to the Seattle Supersonics. But the Sonics were upset in the first round, paving the way for Houston to rise. And rise they did, taking home their first championship in franchise history. But it gets even more impressive. In the 94-95 season, the Rockets faced a real uphill battle. They didn't dominate the regular season like before, finishing with a 47-35 record, 6th place in the Western Conference. And yet, that team fought through the playoffs and won their second straight title, becoming the lowest seeded team to ever win an NBA championship. So let's be clear, it wasn't a fluke. If anything, the fact that they won back-to-back -back titles shows how special of a team that was. Playoff basketball is a different beast, and Houston showed that they were built for that level of competition. And here's the kicker, Michael Jordan himself gave Hakeem and Rockets their respect. Sure, the two teams never met in the finals, but whenever they faced off during the regular season, it was always a battle. Sometimes the Bulls won, and sometimes the Rockets did. In Hakeem's own words, he said, and I quote, We're good against Chicago. That is something we can always refer back to. And that respect for MJ, that was all Hakeem needed. Even though we never got the dream matchup in the finals between the Rockets and the Bulls, Hakeem feels that the respect from Jordan says it all. The dream said, and I quote, we were the champion. It's not an easy task to win and we got it done. It's hard to argue with him. Winning titles, especially two in a row, takes incredible effort and no one can take that away from that team. At the end of the day, whether Jordan was playing or not, the Rockets took advantage of their opportunity. They cemented their place in NBA history. And for anyone still questioning those championships, remember, it's not about who wasn't there. It's about who stepped up and who you beat in your path. And that's exactly what the Rockets did. So what do you guys think? Should Akeem and the Rockets titles be given a full respect they deserve? Or do you think things would have been different if Jordan never retired and the Bulls were around to challenge them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more upcoming videos and NBA content. My name is Damien Peters. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.